What does it need? Her daughter, Zophiras, is as wild and headstrong as an untamed filly. Zita constantly prays for guidance, but I suspect Zophiras needs a more grounded hand to direct her. What should I know about Damia? She has two precocious children who rule the roost in the Agora. They reduce their tutors to tears and stir up the other age mates. She is hoping you can instill some respect in them. What can you tell me about Zefxo? Her husband is off training for war, and she specifically requested an audience with you for help with something quite personal. I'll find them and see what they want of me. May the Dioscuri watch over your path. Oh, Ira and Aphrodite, please grant my daughter the virtue of obedience. Eagle Bearer, you bless this temple with your presence. If I may ask, I'm having a little problem. I'm not a problem. I'm a Spartan. You keep at home supervising farmers while I could be out in the world finding adventure. You give my brothers the chance to explore. Why not me? An explorer, are you? So, you're the Eagle Bearer everyone's been talking about. I hope you live up to your reputation. I'm Zophiras. Could you please educate my daughter to behave as a Spartan woman should? If both you and Zophiras agree, I'll train your daughter to be a fine Spartan. Beginning with her physical strength, of course. It's the only way she can keep your household safe and prosperous. The Eagle Bearer is right, Mater. Spartan women must be strong. You can call me Cassandra. I suppose if the Eagle Bearer says it, all right. Train my daughter as you see fit. Let's begin your training with running. Try to keep up. But Spartans never run. Only cowards do. Why should I train in running? Spartans run into battle. The faster you run, the more glory you can earn. That does make sense. Let's race through the theater to the entrance of the Dromos. Last one there's a wounded goat. You could make it. I'll get you next time. Now we'll race horses. 
But not like they do in athletic games. We'll make our own course. Horses? Why should I bother with those filthy beasts? We have Elotes for that. Horses are beasts of muscle and power. You'll never understand until you hold one between your thighs. Well, when you put it that way, ride on. Let's race to the bridge south of Sparta. Ready? Go! And that's how you master a beast. That mastery. How are my lessons so far, Zophiras? Not bad. But why did you decide to teach me anyway? Don't you have more exciting things to do? Treasures to find, tyrants to depose. The secret is, by teaching a skill to someone else, you're also improving your own technique. That's the only way you'll both reach peak performance. You'll have to show me your technique. Do you have a suggestion for our next bit of training? There's a place I found in the southern hills with a wonderful view. Will you go there with me? I like the view already, but let's go. So, does that bird follow you everywhere? Icarus? Yes, he likes to keep an eye on me. Are you jealous? <laughs> if you don't mind being watched, I don't either. Does give you any special powers? You know, Achilles Scott in vulnerability, and at least the strength of a god. If you know the old stories, you know what Zeus is especially good at. You have that kind of talent. Just call me Pandora. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. I think I'm beginning to understand you, Cassandra. Are you? Tell me, who do you think I am? You answer my questions with such passion and authority. You like being in charge, don't you? You might be right. But really, why did you bring me out here? I thought we could continue with some more intensive training, Cassandra. If you've got some energy left. Well then, let's begin our advanced lessons. Thanks, Cassandra. You inspired me to train harder.
Magistrate Xanthi told me that you've been having trouble with your farm. Crop failure. It's as if Ares herself salted the earth. How are the crops failing? Blight. Few plants grow, and the ones that do are wilted and covered in spots. The gods would never let this happen if they were happy. It's my godless Elotes, I tell you. You're a messenger of Zeus. You show them the light. I'll find out what's happening. Oh, thank Zeus. My Elotes, Tefta and Maron, they work the fields, but they do not respect the gods. Teach them. I haven't seen other farms in the area with blighted crops. What could be causing the difference? The grain grew in short and dry. Then the animals started to grow ill. Obvious signs of displeasing Persephone or her mother. Maron claims the animals have been poisoned, but I have no enemies to speak of. What makes you blame your Elotes for the blight? Have they tampered with the plants and animals? They do not worship as you and I do. I thank Dimitir for all she gives us at the end of each day. But they just reap the bounty of her hard work. So... it's divine intervention? What else dictates our fates? Ugh. Tefta won't stop babbling about the soil. Thinks I overwork my farm. Idiot woman. As if this farm hasn't been in my family for generations. I'll go talk with your Elotes and see what they know. Mistios. Here. Your master claims this blight is the will of the gods. What do you think? Sometimes crops fail. Could be dry soil, could be insects. It's a shame about the donkey. He was more crucial to the farm's success than the master. Or you, for that matter. If you're looking for a fight, Elot, you're going about it the right way. Come on, then. Everyone's looking for an excuse to beat an Elot. You've proved your worth as a Spartan. Uh, you hit hard. Something upstream is making the water taste like a rusty blade. The water? I'll have to take a look. Someone wants you dead, and I will. Yeah. <laughs> 
journey across the sticks be a more peaceful end than this. Debris might be getting stuck in this net. Maybe the dead man was a fisherman. Huh. These don't look like the knife wounds of a man. I bet it's the metal from the armor giving the water a bad taste. Man is going to linger on me. At least the river runs clear now. I heard that the crops haven't been producing this season. Laniki expects more crops every year. The soil needs to rest. So there could be nothing else causing crop shortage? I didn't say that. You know more than you're saying. My stomach aches and it's hard to concentrate. It's a shame that there is no mint around to chew. Where would I get mint? The master keeps dried herbs up at the house. You can't get mint for yourself because... The master keeps all the medicine. I can pick and dry the herbs, but I'm not allowed any for myself. I'll go find some mint for you. Here you go. The herbs you needed. Fresh is better for my stomach, but since the blight... ...dried is all we have left. The back patch of land is riddled with blight like I've only seen once before. My old master lost his whole farm to it. I'll never forget the smell. The back of the farm? I'll take a look. I wonder anything grows in this field with all this mess crushing the plants. Tanners in Kefalonia use something that smells awful to make leather. It can't be good for the soil. The earth is stained here. That can't be good for the soil. It seems like fire is the only way to make sure of ending this blight.
believe I have to tidy everything up around here. Now I'm beginning to understand Tefta's anger. The diseased crops have been burned, and the river is cleared. That should be the last of the blight. Oh, you truly are God sent. What was the cause of the rot? You were so busy looking to the sky that you ignored what was in front of you. The gods are not responsible for cleaning the fields or the river. That's on you. What? You dare? Xanthi said you are an agent of Zeus, but you are a false champion as godless as my Ilotes. Get out from here! The poison in your fields is nothing compared to the poison in your heart. Just ignore her. Zeus will recognize his mistake in choosing a champion soon enough. <sighs> <sighs> 